Hey everyone, um, I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on Tableau on how you can create your own custom maps using background images and custom geocode files. Uh, we're going to create a Tableau uh, visualization where we're going to have the background image be this soccer field. And we're going to show the different positions of players on the field and then um, uh, adjust the, uh, the, look and the look of those uh, different position locations uh, using a quantitative variable. Um, this is a, a useful feature in Tableau for when you want to create your own custom maps um, and when you want to uh, uh, create your own custom areas or locations within existing maps. So for example you might have a map in the United States you want to create your own custom regions for sales uh, or maybe you want to use a floor plan for building and create locations within the floor plan in order to map out some quantitative measure based on locations within a floor plan. It's a powerful tool. Um, let's see how to do it. So I'm going to start by, I need to create a um, geocode file with X and Y coordinates for the points I want to display on my map. So I'm going to do that using this tool called the Power Tool, uh, called the Drawing Tool, uh, which is part of the Power Tools collection for Tableau from Interworks. You can find this by just going to Google and typing in Interworks Drawing Tool, and you should see this link, Drawing Tool, Power Tools and it's free to use um, you just have to give them some information like an email address uh, and a name and you can uh, use it uh, for free so I we already had went ahead and did that I click on this it'll launch the drawing tool and all you need to do is drag your image that you want to do your custom geocoding on into the drawing tool and it's ready to go so I've already gone ahead and dragged in this image of a soccer field and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and click on points on this image and it's going to create a CSV file for me with the location of those points in terms of where they appear on this image. I can do points, I could also do paths which would mean like a line so for maybe you want to make like a subway map or something you could use paths or I could do polygons for example if you wanted to create custom regions um, within a, a map. Uh, maybe you had an idea to do a visualization using the same image but you want to show shots based on lo overall region within the field so you could highlight uh, you know the outer box the inner six yard box the the half line and uh, and use those as your your polygons your regions basically this tool allows you to create your own custom geocodes by just clicking and dragging within the image and then those uh, coordinates get saved to a file that we can import into Tableau and use within our visualization so I'm just going to create some uh, points corresponding to position locations for players on a soccer team. We're going to assume kind of a standard old school 4-4-2 um, uh, um, formation. So I'm going to click here for a goalie. Uh, I'm going to have uh, two center backs. I'm going to have a right back and a left back. I'm going to have a defensive mid and an attacking midfielder. I'm going to have a... Uh, right and a left winger and then two strikers up top. And you notice as I clicked each one of those it created a point uh, data entry in our file down here and these is just a simple CSV file comma separated values and the two fields we really care about are the X and Y the last two and then for example 97 to a 1 just corresponds to we were 97 over 201 up. So it's just the location of that point in this 600 by 400 image. So I'm going to copy this data. You can just click copy. And I'm going to go into Excel, which is my data source. Uh, I've got a spreadsheet and with some uh, salary information and then a, a tab where I'm going to put this geocode information. So I'm just going to paste it here and it creates these extra columns. Uh, and you see for a keeper, we've got our XY coordinates center back, XY coordinates, all of our positions have corresponding XY coordinates. I'm going to go ahead and save this and then let's go in Tableau and see how we can use these things to make a custom map with custom geocodes. So I need to connect to data so I'm going to go ahead and connect to that spreadsheet. Uh, it's position data which we just updated. I'm going to open it and Tableau will connect and we'll see there's the two sheets that we just looked at. I'm going to drag geocodes over and you'll see that it fills with that data. We've got our position names and our X and Y geocodes. You'll notice that 
uh, it recognizes these as geocode information. Um, and we'll go to uh, Tableau now. And what we're going to do is we're going to plot those x and y coordinates here and then put that uh, soccer field image as the background for a map. So it's the same idea as a map where we're using x and y to represent latitude and longitude. But this time the map is our background image and the x and y just coordinate the, to the position within the pixels location on that map. So I'm going to drag x onto uh, columns and y onto rows. Um, whoops, did it twice by accident. And you'll see we get one aggregated point because remember Tableau likes to aggregate things. So we'll take off aggregate measures and you'll see we've got our basic formation there. We've got our keeper, our defenders, our midfielders, and our uh, strikers and they're plotted out on the X and Y um, coordinates uh, just like we did in the drawing tool. Now Really what we need to do is just change the background of this to be a map uh, based on an, our own image. So we go to Map Background Images and click that. That just makes a, an association between this geocode position data and whatever image we pick. I'm going to add an image and browse. And I'm just going to pick this soccer field and hit open. And so this is going to be set to our background for our visualization. We just need to do a couple things to have this work. We need to make sure that our x coordinates in our background image correspond to our whatever our x coordinate is in our data, and the same for the y. So our x field in the visualization corresponds to our x field in our data. You might have this be latitude, for example, if you were using some other type of a geocoding for uh, maybe regions or uh, locations in a, in a real map. And y corresponds to y. And then you just got to specify the range, 0 to 600 pixels and 0 to 400 pixels, and hit apply. And say OK. So now we have our image in the background, which is great. Um, the only uh, issue right now is that because the data only extends so far in the y direction and the x direction, Tableau has automatically cropped uh, the size of uh, our background. So we can adjust that by just editing our axes. Edit our axis for the x. We'll go from 0, from instead of automatic, we'll have fixed from 0 to 600. And hit apply. And then we'll do the same for the y. We'll do fixed from 0 to 400. And hit apply. And now you see we've got this nice map and we've got these positions show up on the map. Right. So this is just like when we did the exercise in Tableau and had the map with uh, state names and there was a position dot over each one of the state names. Now we can do stuff. We can, we can assign stuff to the color and size of these things based on quantitative variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you look in this uh, our data source, I've got another sheet here that is just position and salary information. Uh, very simple here. I'm going to use this salary information and encode the size of those position marks in our map based on salary. But you can imagine a much bigger data file which had multiple observations for each position, multiple salaries, uh, and uh, we could plot summaries or averages or other uh, have other quantitative measures as well. But this is just meant to show a simple example. All right, so to do that we're going to go back to our data source and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to join our geocode table with our salary table using the position uh, column. So just like you would do in a database, Tableau allows you to join uh, data sources together. Um, you can do this with sheets within the same Excel file. You could do it with sheets from different Excel files. You could use tables from databases, uh, both local and uh, on servers. Um, pretty straightforward uh, joining that you would do with any kind of database application. So I'm going to drag salaries onto my sheet and it's going to go ahead and make a join between these two things using an inner join where it's set the position from geocodes equal to the position from the salaries table. So you see we've got that there. I'm going to hide it because we don't need this extra field and we see now we have salary data joined with our geocode data. So I'll go back to uh, the sheet that we were working on and now I'm going to take salary and I'm going to drag it on to size and you'll see the size of our 
uh, points has changed based on the salary of the that position. I'm going to make it a little bit more pronounced by adjusting the size and I'll change the color as well to be something that uh, stands out a little bit more against the green background. Okay. And if we drag over it, you can see in the tooltip uh, we see that salary value. I may also want to see the position, so I'm going to drag position to detail, and you'll notice that in the tooltip now I've got the position and the salary. Um, I've also got the XY coordinate. If I didn't want to have that, I, I can just click on the tooltip and edit it, and I'm going to get rid of X and Y and hit OK. And now you see for each position it shows a position and a salary value. I can hide these um, if I didn't want those to show up, which they don't add much value, and uh, hide the title. And now I've got a visualization that shows a soccer field, the position, the size of the position is uh, is based on the size of their salary and some tooltip information. So just a quick tutorial to kind of give you an idea how you can use your own custom images as backgrounds and maps and your own custom uh, geocodes. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to make uh, a file that contains the location information that you want to display on your map um, and get that into Tableau as a data source. Uh, I also showed briefly how you can do some joins in Tableau. Um, you don't just have to do joins for these types of visualizations. You may want to join data uh, for different types of uh, visualizations that don't include maps at all. Um, and the joining features in Tableau are, are pretty straightforward and, and uh, similar to things you would do in other database applications. All right, good luck.